Hang in there, folks. This video is jam-packed with places for you to go, do, see, and experience. We're on another adventure, but this time I brought my normal crew with us. We are in Georgia, North Georgia, and I can't say why. What's up with these secret, these secret missions? Happy Saturday, we are in Mentone, Alabama. <laughs> Everybody, we're headed to Daphne, Alabama for my first competition that I'm judging today and tomorrow. Saturday morning and our first art show of the season. We're going the right way. Yes, you are. It's Harley here and today we're at Hope Set Hall. The Druid City Art Festival once again in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. It is just a little after 6 a.m. and we're on our way to, I don't know where I'm looking, I'm so tired. Yes. <laughs> Lafayette. Lafayette, Georgia to the Honey Bee Festival. Where are we? <laughs> Maria, it is Saturday morning on June 18th and we are headed to Montevallo Art Festival. It was canceled back in April due to inclement weather and so now it's now. Good okay. morning. I am in South Carolina. Hey, day one and it's fire dance competition in Savannah, Georgia. I'm getting ready to go downstairs and get some coffee. Got a long day ahead of me. I'll be working from early this morning to late tonight. So I'll keep you going on what's happening. We are at the Kentuck Artist Market in Northport, Alabama. All right, we are on art festival number, I don't know, gazillion and 12. I'm here out at the Summer Shindig in Harpersville, Alabama. As you can see, what can you see? Good morning. It is bright and early. We're in North Alabama on our way to Scottsboro. For really art. not so bright. Not so bright. We're in Coleman at the Oktoberfest. We just wrapped it up for the day and cheers. Salud. We went to the beer garden. Good morning from Lake Eufaula, Alabama. We're at the Indian Summer Festival in, in the historic district on Randolph Street. And it's absolutely gorgeous down here. It is Sunday morning in October and we are headed back for our second day at Color Fest in Mentone, Alabama. It is Friday morning in November 4th, 5th, 4th. Fourth. Fourth. And we Fifth. just Fourth. 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 November fourth. And we are at Cherokee Cherokee Creek. I don't know. We're in Lafayette, Georgia, and we just set up at the Hemlock Festival. We're getting ready for a three day music fest art festival. Buckle up, buttercup. We go for a ride. <laughs> Been a little bit absent from YouTube as we've been quite the road warriors and as we share our what I'm calling our eclectic gypsy lifestyle we're not just sharing what we've been and doing and of course our festivals have been part of it but we're hoping to share places that you would like to visit and um, either stay eat or try so hang with us because 2022 was quite the big change in our life and we want to share with you Hang in there. We are headed to Piney Woods Art Festival in Enterprise, Alabama. It's been quite a few years, about six years since we've been here. Wow. We got in late last night. We're staying at um, something, Wildwood, RV, I don't know, someplace. Anyway. So one of the new campgrounds for us, we stayed at Red Top Mountain outside of Cartersville, Georgia. And then Round Pond outside of Lafayette, Georgia. Of course, we spent a lot of time at DeSoto State Park, and you will find out why. So we finally tried our Harvest Host membership and stayed at a little winery outside of Cedar Bluff, Alabama. If you're interested in some of these campgrounds along others that we stayed at, check out our videos, and I do some extensive tours of them if you would like to stay at one of them. Of course, we had a lot of silly moments along the way, and uh, here's a couple of them. this because he can't navigate where the crap and he depends on Note the way too much 
Do note, not get an ADD navigator. Note to sell. Oh, here we go. Yes, you're going the right way. Oh, look at that squirrel. Look at those buildings. Isn't that sweet? Oh my God, that is the cutest. Way. Wait, you got to turn around on that turn. You missed that turn. I missed the turn? Yes, you did. Are you done? Because <laughs> I'm really done. To all the songs I play. Okay, be serious. So some of our favorite events that we participate in with our art are music festivals. Here we are at the Hemlock Festival, and I will say, hands down, was our absolute favorite, and I soon will be posting a video all about it. Sometimes we have the opportunity to see some very well-known artists, and then many times we have the opportunity to see some really talented and great local artists. So when you're planning trips, you can combine your love for art and music and check out many of the events that have both. We're very fortunate that we can be working and enjoy some of the great sounds um, of these great artists. So check them out. entertainment that we get to experience. This is an example of something that we had um, fun watching from our booth at the Hemlock Festival. perfect segue for our food and some of the places we have visited. Here we are at Elevation Bistro in Mentone, Alabama, as we just saw Dusty Smith perform there. We love Elevation. Seasonal menus, uh, farm-to-table food, you have to check it out. Too many wonderful dishes to recommend on this video, but one of our standard favorites is the Bistro Burger. It is not just a regular hamburger. And in fact, our two favorite burgers are in Mentone, and this is one of them. I'll have to mention the other place because we hadn't tried it in 2022 yet at another time. We also love the brisket stew. Where are we? <laughs> Lynn Marie Steakhouse. We're at Lynn Marie Steakhouse in Case Springs, Georgia. Georgia. And we've heard... This is Georgia? Yeah, we're back in Georgia. Oh. We've been in and out of Georgia like, for the last 10 days. Yeah. But she enjoyed every bit. <laughs> Aside from all the silliness, Linda Marie is probably the best, if not the best steakhouse we have ever been to. Tiny town in Georgia, Cave Springs. Amazing. Their grit cakes are phenomenal. Even Harley said it was the best broccoli she's ever had. Check out these desserts. Let me see how big that is. Turn it. Wow. Strawberry. Caramel crunch. I didn't get the darn. I took these videos to remember the desserts that we had at the Wildflower Cafe. The Wildflower Cafe is also in Mentone, Alabama, and it has some great atmosphere and a really nice menu. I heard that the tomato pie is one of her famous dishes, but I loved the shrimp and grits and the pesto grilled cheese. That was also Harley's one of favorite. It has really great atmosphere and a really fun place. So check out the Wildflower Cafe and say hi to Moon, the owner. Hi. 
How are you, man? Good. I'm Welcome to my house. Uh, thank you. Appreciate you. So we discovered a new restaurant in Ackworth, Georgia, and it's called Henry's. If you want some authentic Cajun cuisine that is amazing, oh my goodness, everything that we tried that night was phenomenal. And Henry is so personable and will come around and speak to absolutely everybody. No music. Also in the area in Cartersville, we've mentioned this before, but 8-Track is a really fun place to get great food and fun music. So check out 8-Track. And um, across the street from 8-Track is another one of our favorites is Appalachian Grill. We traditionally had gone to Appalachian Grill many times for our um, anniversary. So another little place that we discovered is in Fort Payne, Alabama called The Spot. And it's just a little cute coffee shop with bagels and muffins and, um, again, fun atmosphere. Thank you. So another place to check out is in Somerville, Georgia on Highway 48. It is the Willow Tree Cafe. Uh, we had the Willow Burger and it was delicious. Well, I was in Savannah, Georgia for a week judging a national dance competition. I had the opportunity to experience some of the cuisine down there. Now, Savannah has a plethora of places to experience, but my favorite was one that was built in an old bank, and it was called The Vault. As you can see, the food was delicious. So that was my favorite for the trip. I cannot not mention... Our favorite breakfast spot is at DeSoto State Park at their restaurant in their lodge. I have to say, if you want a traditional breakfast, hands down, all you can eat on Friday and Saturday morning, and they have the best staff. Vicki is the best waitress in the planet. Of course, Michael J is eating a breakfast dessert right now, so unfortunately I don't have any photos of the actual breakfast, but you can imagine. I'm going to mention some of our activities that we did in addition to all the great food. One was including the Blueberry Falls Farm. I'm going to have a video about an event that we attended there this season, but we did go there the first time and pick a bucket full of blueberries. Of course, there's always great swimming at DeSoto State Park is another activity that we seem to do a lot of. Hi, I'm Harley Oliver. I'm 11 years old. I live in when we're not traveling, we are busy with both our acting and dance and uh, spending time helping Harley, especially with auditions. She had a second um, big audition for Kids Bop and uh, then, of course, was still our dance was a big part of it. So we spent time rehearsing and taking um, traveling to dance competitions and performances, um, both with Harley, but also with my performing company. Harley won the title again, regional title for Elite Dance Cup, but sadly we didn't get to go to nationals. The biggest change for us, well, one of the biggest changes for us in 2022 was closing the dance studio. So a new chapter um, is starting. Although we are not out of the business of dance, I am still judging competitions and helping other studios with choreography, but also starting back my acting career. But it was very difficult. We've spent a lot of time selling everything that we possibly can and uh, moving on to different things. It was hard, but I feel pretty good about it. So I locked the door and spent some time sitting outside the parking lot to say goodbye. Move away Don't from the kangaroo. Like <laughs> you can't walk through here without, I'm so sorry, but you're going to be on our YouTube channel. So. Like you just said. There was an emu back there. An emu, really? Do you want me to turn around her back? No. There's an emu? An emu. Just randomly? Was it an offense? It was all, you know, of course it was fenced in, yes, but it was, what did you think, it was wild, where you think we're Australia or something? No, 
it was, yes, yeah, somebody had kept an eel. I don't know why you would keep an emu, but. I don't either. Yeah, I guess they were fresh out of ostriches. Look at here's a loon. A loon? Good lord. <laughs> oh, look, there's a loon. everything was fun in 2022. Um, there's a lot of uh, situations when you're traveling, like your transmission blowing as you're driving up Lookout Mountain. That was one. And then there's the soggy times. It's not all rainbows and unicorns, you know. I have no words. It's the best. I am sitting in the car in the Walmart parking lot. We have one hour to get set up. We got to the park and our tent is broken. Yay. This is our third tent. We've had a lot of tent mishaps in the last year. So hopefully we can get a hold of any kind of tent so we're not out in the rain all day, but that's what's going on. And uh, we'll let you know once we get there. I'm already a little wet, so yay. for me today. It is Saturday and we are on our secret mission part three in North Georgia. We'll share more in a little bit. This is getting exciting. And I've got three water lines down the right side. Okay. And I've got one meter in right now <clears throat> for water for lot 19. One of the biggest changes is we have found our home base, our new home base. We've been looking for probably eight or nine years for a place to move to, and we've discovered the perfect spot. We are going to be moving up on top of a mountain, and we are so excited about it. So that was a big change, and we have a lot more changes to come because of it, and we will be sharing that process. Here are some photos. Of, um, we started this process in December of 2021, as you can see with the snow. And then in February 2022, we bought the property. We spent a lot of time up there and a lot of time working on it to prepare it for a new home. Another big change was our new addition. We decided in September that it was time to add a third Porter Collie to our tribe. And here he is, Zen. Look what we just picked up. He's sleeping. Baby shark, 
Baby Shark, baby Shark, baby Shark.